welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. This tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a basset hound on the rainbow loom. I really love how his ears came out and he has a very broad forehead and a very long body with short legs. And he came out really cute and I really hope you like him. It's a single loom and I'm going to make this dog in the tutorial. You're going to need black I used the burgundy brown and white. Okay, so we can get started. You're going to need double bands, and we're going to start with the burgundy brown first. So we're going to place a double band right in the middle, and then more double bands from this pin to this pin. It's also arrow facing down, staggered position. Place your other bands right here. And we're making the forehead a little thicker because they have a broad forehead. And we're placing one more over here. And then we'll go on to this side. So in order to make the forehead a little thicker, I'm going to place a double band from here to here. I use the same technique for the a Siberian Husky and that one came out really cute and then I'm going to place another double band from here to here okay, you can push that down okay so now I want to make white in the middle of the head if you have a different type of dog, you know, a different coloration you want to use. I'm using white right here, and that will be this band. Now, my snout, I'm going to make it white also. So, this band right here, I'm going to make it white just to match the snout color. And this is where it differs somewhat. Now we're going to make this band right here, which is basically right here. I'm going to make it white to make this her hit the neck and the um, lower chin white. But I do see some basset hounds with the coloration on that side. So if you want to make it like this one with a little, instead of white, you can use your, your brown or whatever you want. So it'll look like that. So you can see the difference in the two dogs. So whatever you choose um, for that, but I'm just showing you if you want it colored, you, it'll look like the other dog, and then I'm going to make this one white. And it's going to be a big stretch from this pin all the way to this pin. And then from this pin to this pin. Okay, now we're going to do the neck, which is a triple band. So I'm using white, triple, and I'm making the front all white legs with a white shoulder. So we'll do a double white from this pin to this pin, and remember this is a triple and this is a double. Now we're going into all doubles, and we'll do the shoulder right now. from here and here, and then we're going to do another white from here to here, and from here to here. Now we're going to be working on the back of the dog, and I'm placing black in the middle, and then the brown on the sides. So we're going to need five, uh, four stitches of black right here. So, and these are doubles again. So that's two, three, and four. So this is a total of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Now we're switching to the brown. 
and these are doubles again and this is the side of the body so this is three stitches of brown and then we're going to take another double and connect these two pins so one two these two pins are connected and now we'll work on the other side and doubles again. So I'm just repeating. <laughs> okay, and then we'll connect these two. Okay, so now we're going to make the tail. And I put a white tip for the tail, and then it's going to be three stitches of brown. So we'll do that on the hook. And we're going to need a single white, place it on the hook, wrap it three times. So one, two, three. Then take another double of white, place it on the hook, bring that over in the middle. Then you place it back on the hook, just like that. I'll place it right here so you can see better because this is darker. Now we're going to need three stitches of double brown. So I'm going to take a brown, place it on the hook, slide that on there, place it back. That's one stitch. Here's number two. And number three. I'm sorry about the phone call ring. <laughs> So um, this is the tail, so it is the one stitch of white and three of brown. And we're going to place it right here. And now we're going to make the front legs. And I'm adding little claws to him. If you don't want to add the claws, you don't have to, but I'm making them black. And if you want them like the same color as the dog, you can just make it white but I'm going to make the black claws. It is a single black. Place it on the hook. Wrap it four times. So one, two, three, and four. Then we're going to do three stitches of white. So, and it's a double. So double white. Place the little claw on the double white. Just like this. Then another double white. And then another double white for the three stitches. He has uh, shorter legs. And we're going to place it right here. Okay, we're going to make another one right here. So another black. One, two, three, and four. Plus a, another double white. Then you take another double white, place it on the hook, so it's two, and then finally the third stitch, another double, and then you place it right here. Okay, we'll switch it to the side. And now we're going to make the hind legs, and I'm making two stitches for the bottom of white, and then the thigh area is going to be brown. So I'm going to make the claw again. So one, two, three, and four. And then a double white. Then another double white. And now we're going into the brown, and you need a double brown. We're going to place it on the loom, because we're making the thigh a little thicker. So we'll place one here, and then another double there. And now we're placing the white on this pin. And we're going to loom this band first. So you can pull this back.
and then we're going to loom this one. And that's your thigh. And we're going to take it off the loom, keep it on the hook, and we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, so it looks like that. Now we're going to repeat this and put it on this side. So single one, two, three, and four. Then you place your white and then another white to make total two. Then your double brown place it on the loom from here to here then here to here push that down place the white as the capping band you can pull this back and we're going to grab this one first place it right here and here. Okay, so we got the body done. We're going to place some structural bands. And my the middle of my body is black. And we fold this at the end, so I want to show black structural bands here to make it more fuller. So I'm going to use black, it's a single black, place it at like a triangle, another single black, another single black, and one more. Okay, now we're going to work on the snout, and I need a single black for the nose, place it on your hook, one, two, three, and four. Then I'm going to take, now he has a big, um, nice full size head, I'm going to take four white bands, so total of four, and I'm going to dangle them on the hook because they're a little oblong shape, so I want to make sure that they're the same shape and you don't have like one straight up like this and then you have one sideways and it makes the snout a little bit weird when you, um, when you loom it. So I want them all the same shape, length, then you place it, the snout on the hook, on the um, white bands, place it back, make sure it's in the middle. Just like that. Then you're going to take another white band, place it through here in a single, and we're going to place it right here and right here. So one there, one there, and then we're going to bring that snout down to this pin. So it lays down here. And now we can make the eyes. And I'm using black bands for this. You can also use beads if you want. So I need one black band. Place it on the hook. Wrap it four times. So one, two, three, and four. And you can also do um, place it on the hook. Wrap it four times or make a little figure eight like this. And then grab this and wrap it around. So both work fine with this. And now we're going to use white band and place the eye on that white band. If you have brown as this band, you can use brown band so it meshes better. But whatever you want. And we're just placing it straight across, separate the eyes, 
just like that. Okay, so now we're going to make the ears, and they're very beautiful, big, long ears. I'm doing singles for these, so it's a little thinner. And we're going to start down here. I'll move the tail away. And I need, so sorry, a single brown. And I'm so sorry about the bird. That's lovely, the love bird. He's very active today. <laughs> So a single brown here, single brown here. Okay, so now you take another single, place right here to here, another single, and now we're going to connect them. So a total of three stitches of singles. Okay, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, now you're going to need two structural bands to hold everything together and it's going to be two singles and you're going to place it from this pin to this pin so it's going to be a single wrapped twice around so here's one and then two just like that or you can just do a single and twist it upon itself and then place it on the loom from here to here. So it's two right here. Now the bottom of the ear in this dog I made him wider and it's a double wrapped twice around and it's a little bit wider at the bottom and I really like how this one came out but if you don't like it a little wider and loose at the bottom you can make a single because this is and it's a little bit more pointy at the bottom. It's a single wrapped three times around. And this is this part of the ear, the capping band. So depending on what type of ear you want, if you want it more tighter at the bottom, do a single wrapped three times around the pin. But if you want it more loose, do a double wrapped twice around the pin. And I'm gonna make this one right here. So a double and I'm just going twice around so one and two and that's it so now I can loom the ear and we're gonna grab this one first go underneath the capping band grab that single bring it to the right and now we're going to loom forward. Okay, now we're going to go on the left side. And loom forward. Now we're going to take it off the loom and keep it on your hook. So I'll take the first one then a second, right, make it flat, now we're going to take a double of the brown and we're going to place it on the hook and then slide that here on that double brown, then you're going to place it back on the hook just like this and we're going to place it right here, that's where your ear is going to be. So that's one ear. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna make another ear, and once again, I'm so sorry for the chirping. Single brown. Place it on the hook. We want from this pin to this pin. Then we're gonna do another, and three stitches. So here's your one, two, three. Then we're gonna take another single. And three stitches for this one. And once again, if you want it a tighter stitch, you can do a single wrap three times around. If you like this type of ear. But I'm going to do a double wrap twice to make it a little fuller. So one and two for a double. 
Now your structural bands, single twist it upon itself, place it here, and then another one, single twist it upon itself, and place it here. And now we can move in this ear, and we're grabbing this one first. So go underneath that capping band, bring that forward. and loom forward. Okay, then we're going to grab this guy on the left. And still looming forward. Okay, so now you can take it off the loom one at a time. Keep it on the hook. Make it flat. Take a double, place it on the hook, bring that through, and then place it right here. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure yours looks like this one, and then we can start uh, looping it. Okay, so we're going to start looping. And we're going to pull this tail back. That's our cap and band. We're going to grab this brown first. That's my uppermost band. Okay, I grabbed one there. And here's the other. Now we're going to grab this brown. And now the black. And then I'm going to loom the middle of the dog first all the way up to the neck. And we're stopping right here. Now I'm going to loom the right side and I'm only grabbing the brown on the bottom and this white on the bottom. So nothing with the legs. So I'm going to push this down so I can grab it easier. Okay, just the bottom brown band. Push that down. And looming forward. Okay, so now we're grabbing this white band on the bottom. I'm going to make sure that band is straight. And back to the side. We're grabbing the bottom brown. And looming forward. Okay, we're grabbing this one. And now we're going to grab this triple white for the neck. Okay, so now we're in the head area and the head is going to be a little bit different because I want this forehead um, a little bit loomed differently. So pay close attention to how I'm looming this head. We're going to grab this white one first. Okay, that's the uppermost. Big, big stretch. Then we're going to grab this one. Big stretch. Okay, so now I'm grabbing this white one right here, and I'm going to bring it over the nose to lay on this pin. So it's going to go over. And I'm going to pull the little nose through. Okay, just like that. So that secures the nose. And then I'm going to grab this band. So I'm going to go inside this pin. Grab the white band that's in between the eyes. Then I'm going to work with the forehead. 
and I'm grabbing this one first. Bringing it to the ear. And then I'm going to grab this one. And just grabbed one for that one. Let me get the other one. And then finally the middle. Okay, so we have the teardrop shape right here. And now we can loom the side of the head. So I'm going to work with this brown band first. Then we're going to grab this brown. Okay, I want to make sure it's straight. Now we're going to this side and grabbing this brown. And now we're grabbing this one right here, underneath all these bands. It's at the bottom. Okay, and that is your layout for the um, loom dog. Now I'm going to grab a double brown, and I'm going to place it right through here and I'm going to make a slip knot. Bring it in the middle. I want to make sure the bands are straight. And your slip knot, pull taut. Okay, and then we can take them off the loom. And I'm going to start at the end. Take it off slowly because it's a lot of bands. Okay, so this is the neck. It's going to be thick. Now the nose, I'm just going to pull it up because I want to keep that nose in the middle. Then the little cheeks. Thicker up here, so be careful there. And finally the head. Okay, you don't need the loom anymore. Take the off the hook. This is the back of the head. Here's the snout in the front. I'm gonna put my finger in the back, push the back of the head with your finger, and put push his head out. You can maneuver. The bands, it's going to be skinnier at the bottom with this beautiful stout. His eyes look good to me. If they're inside, you can, you know, pull them out. The head looks good. All the bands are perfect. My ears are down. And then I'm going to work with this. Um, little, I'll show you right now. There is, um, let's stretch out the body first. Stretch out the legs. And I'll, I'm going to show you this at the end to work with the head to make it more um, like this. So it's a little, so you just have to move one band, but I'm going to just show it to you at the end. So we're going to sew this body shut like this. This is how I work with the dogs. First, we're going to move the neck. Instead of being straight, we're going to move it this way. So put your hook right through that triple and then pull taut. Pull a little bit, tug a little bit, and it makes the neck stand up like this. Okay, grab a single of the brown, and now I'm going to sew this body shut to make it more 3D. And what I'm going to do is the white bands right here, I'm placing my hook right through, look very closely. And if you've made my other dogs, you know exactly what I'm doing. Right through these bands. It's the outer white bands. Then you're going to place your little single brown on the hook. Bring this through. Place it back on the hook. 
then you're going to make a little slip knot. But I want the slip knot to lay a little bit lower so you can pull it down a little bit. Make a slip knot, pull to it. Now it's knotted and we're going to sew the body shut. So then we're going to go to the next stitch and it's brown. Place your hook right through. Grab that brown like thread, pull it through, and then hold the other end. Now we're going to go to the next stitch and we're just sewing his body shut. Okay, bring it through. We'll go to the next stitch. Bring it through. And if you want, you can stop right there, but sometimes I, I like to go and just another little stitch. Bring it through, and then we're going to snip the end and make a knot. Okay, so I have the end of my band, and what I'm going to do, and please be careful, don't hurt yourself with this, and don't snip the dog, just the, the end of the, the band, the sewing band. You're going to hold one side. Then we're going to anchor the other side within the dog. So we're just going to grab any band that's inside here, any brown band or anything. Place the hook through. Then grab that other side and bring it through that band. Okay, and that will be act as an anchor. Let me find another band. This one's not working. Okay, so I brought that through. Now it's anchored here, and I'm just going to do a triple knot. You can do a double. So one, two, and number three. You can uh, hide the excess of the band inside the dog, or you can just snip it off with the scissor. And please be careful again. Okay, and now pull him. Through. He's round now, and now I'm going to stretch out the bottom, the legs, the thigh area. Now I'm going to work on the tail. I don't want the tail down like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hook, go on the bottom of the tail, place my hook through. and just lightly tug and move that tail forward. And now it's straight up. And then you can move the bands like that too. So it stays straight up. And now we're gonna make the claws. And what I'm gonna do is, here's the front two legs, and you just separate them. You know, and then you make your little claws. And then the bottom of the pad, I don't want it straight like this. I want them bent to um, resemble a paw. So on the bottom, I just tug it lightly and it moves it to be flat. So here, this one is already nice, the claw. I'm gonna tug the bottom of the band, make it flat, just like that. And the back legs too. So we'll separate them. And then tug, and it's flat. And this one too, we'll separate. And tuck, and he's flat too. So we just made all the paws flat and the tail up. Now, I don't like how, this is what I was talking about before. I don't like how full this is over here. I like it more a little um, thinner head. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take 
there's this brown band right here and I'm just taking this little side band right here and I'm going to pull it out and then place the ear through it so it's behind the head now and it made the head a little bit thinner and the ear can come more forward too so you can see the difference between what that looks like so I'm going to take that again pull the ear through so it's behind and that's it and I'm going to hide this in the back of the head and you can actually sew the back of the head too to make it more 3D and you just take your um, just like we sewed the body and anywhere on the back take the hook, the thread pull it through and then I'm going to go again and pull it through so now the back of the head is round you can bring the ears down it's got big beautiful ears and if you had the thinner ear at the bottom same thing just bring it down now this one I made it thicker so it looks really nice just like this but if you want you can also separate the bands at the bottom put like two on each side and then just make it more flat so I make it really you know nice and beautiful and big so and this is your Basset Hound I really hope you like this tutorial I love how he came out he's got a beautiful long body and short legs and big beautiful ears okay please subscribe and come back to the channel and I'll make some more dog breeds okay bye